welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you all the different things you can see and do in Wairake. Let's go! everyone so we've made our way to the hooker prawn park and the hooker four jet so these are two different locations that provide two different attractions um, the hooker prawn park is as you can see there isn't a lot happening at the moment because it's school it's a tuesday but this is definitely a pretty cool place to come and hang out for a little bit bring the kids they do have like a little attraction area we can you can go ride on water things they've got a park they've got an eatery there here as well and the hooker for jet is a fast speed boat which takes you up to hooker fours and back so these are two locations that you can definitely check out when you come into topo i'm just going to have a little bit of this uh, here we go First, oh, there's a little bit of cream on it, but we're going to go. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. That lemon cake takes me back to my childhood. There used to be a lady that used to cook cakes, and every once in a while she would call me over to, to <laughs> basically give me a whole cake sometimes, but her lemon cake oh my god it was to die for and this tastes almost exactly like it so this is this lemon cake here took me back to my childhood <laughs> i will never forget this one as you can see leo decided to take one for the team took his shoes off <laughs> pulled up her pants and pulled up her leg of her pants and put her feet in hot water now this hot water is actually heated through the thermal from the ground from the ground and water. it's what they call thermal water and when you come into topo you'll actually see some of some of some i guess you'll see some of the steam coming up from the ground and this is what exactly what it is it's the hot water that's actually that's out on the um out in the out where you can see it and you can see the steam coming off of it i'm pretty sure we're going to show you some of that when we as the day go along so stay tuned another location it is Topol Wake Park so they are an in-water sports theme park where they do like water skiing over through the, the ramps and stuff unfortunately because it's not summer and it's not warm this is closed so make sure if you're going to come and visit that you check for their opening times but this is another place that you can come
so we have come to the Aratea Dam, as you can see it's right there, and three times a day the dam opens so it releases the water. So we've come to see the opening, pretty cool. Your love is coming! That's kind of Okay y'all, uh, we just watched this dam and I was up here reading some information about it. And for those of you who love the uh, Lord of the Rings and the movie, the Hobbit movie, The Desolation of Smog, Smog, I don't know how to pronounce it. But if you remember in that movie, the scene that they was actually going down the river in the barrels, this where that was actually filmed and I just found that out so there's a movie fact for you and I'll tell you Woo -wee. Wow Are we at the Hooker Falls River Cruise this is something else that you can do when you come to Taupo uh, you can uh, you can book to go on the uh, riverboat and this will take you downstream. Uh, yeah, so if you want the four-hour river cruise, it'll take you up to the Hooker Falls, where we're gonna go to next, and we'll show you that once we get there. But yeah, you can, if you don't want to drive, take a cruise. I think I'll prefer the cruise. It's right on the river. And it goes at your speed. <laughs> yeah, it goes at my speed. And I don't have to worry about the driving. Check out that beautiful water that you'll be sailing on. Captain Nunn just said he's about to sail off up, up river. So we just see how smooth that is. No engine sounds. It's just the smooth, smoothest, smoothness of the river. It just looks so beautiful. So Check that, it out. So that's the Hooker Falls River Cruise. If you're ever in Taupo and you want to go for a nice cruise up the Hooker Falls River, and I mean a mild cruise, then this is definitely that option. And this is pretty much right next to the Aratea Dam, which is just over there so this is where we were standing earlier watching the water get released and the river cruise is sailing off sailing to the afternoon sun so that's sailing towards hooker fours and we're going to make our way there now we might even bump into them we'll see
so I am going to be trying some of this it's a dessert wine and it's nice with cheese and crackers and there we go oh that's nice you can definitely taste the honey in it Mm. Wow. So how much is a bottle of one of these normally? $24.99 and a half bottle is $29.99. Okay. So guys, if you're ever in Topol and you need some wine and you love honey, this place has got you. Poka <laughs> Honey Hive has its own cafe as well, as well as they sell the Kapiti ice cream. For those of you who are from Aotearoa and watching this, you know Kapiti is just too good. But, you know, if you ever come here and you just want to have a hot drink and something nice to eat, then definitely stop off at the Hooker Honey Hive. But let's go to another location. Location. This place is called Rocks and Ropes. As you can see, it's a rope climbing obstacle course. I know a lot of workplaces come here for team building and stuff, but this is definitely a great place to check out if you like this sort of thing. You won't miss it, it is literally just you drive past it on the main highway. The main highway is just at the back there behind everything. You can see the cars going past. So this is Rock and Ropes. And it is literally right next door to the Hooker Honey Bee Place. Everyone, welcome to Heli Adventures Flights. So this is for those who would like to experience being in a helicopter and they take you for a tour around Topol, especially over Lake Topol and over the Hooker Falls area. So definitely check them out. I have never tried it out because I do not like heights. I will do a plane, I'm not sure about a helicopter, but if you're interested in wanting to take a helicopter ride, then definitely check out this place. The info for them is in our description bar below. If you've come here before, let us know in the comments section below and let us know what you because thought. Topol has a lot of walking and biking tracks. They are all they also have you covered when it comes to bike hire and tours. So this is 4B bike hire and tours. And they are right next to the helicopter place that just featured just before this. So if you're looking to hire a bike and or bike tour, then 4B's got you. Check out this. These are some loops that you can ride. But there are many bike tracks and walk tracks all over this place. So we have now reached the Hooker Falls Lookout. This is actually my first time here. I didn't even know it existed. But we're going to go closer. You can probably see people down there. We're going to go there shortly. But this is the lookout spot and it is beautiful. Like look at that greenery in the background. In winter, if you come here in winter, you can see the mountains at the back there. It will be full of snow. So this is the Hooker Falls Lookout. Let's go over to Hooker Falls.
Okay, y'all. Because <clears throat> we're on a golfing range, you know, you don't talk very loud because you disturb people out here getting ready to tee off and tee up. But we are here at the Pro Golfing Range in uh, Wadake. And this is a place that you can come out here and hit um, a couple of balls to the golfing range. I think for a full bucket is $19. And then they got club hire as well. You, got, you can get a driver, a wedge, and something else. <laughs> um, I think the, the driver, the number one driver is like five bucks. And then you, then there's the next one go down three and one. So yeah, you can hire some golfing clubs if you didn't bring your own. So when you're ever around, come out, have a swing at a couple of balls. Let's see if you can hit the 200 up there. I know I couldn't, but hey, see if you can. Fellas that are over six foot, I'm trying to tell you right now, you're gonna need to duck when you come in here. So get ready to duck walk when you're coming through this tunnel. Okay? It ain't that tall. This here is the Cecilia Terrace. Um, just to give you a little bit of background on it, although the Terrace foundations are man-made, Cecilia disposition and hot water is 100% natural. Through innovation and engineering, Cecilia enriched fluid that is drawn from 1.5 kilometers underground is being piped into two cooling ponds and then cascade over the terraces where the overlaying of Cecilia is developing into amazing coral-like shapes and formations. Okay, as I was just explaining, as the water is coming from under the ground, this is actually where it's coming out from. And it's uh, 1.5 meters underneath, but that's actually really hot water. You can't touch it. And this is what it's doing just coming up out in the ground. It's so hot, look at the steam that's coming off of it. someone's yawning so so we've just completed the Wairake Terrace walk oh my goodness it is so amazing I've never done this before I've never been here before 
why my question is why did you enjoy it babe yep it is honestly just looking at the thermal pools the natural thermal pools here are amazing Hi everyone so that was us at the Wairake Terrace there is a thermal pool here as well and there is a surcharge for both the walk and this the, the, the thermal pool um, we're not going to do the thermal pool we were going to but Mike is getting it's actually really hot and the water in there is hot anyway so but we're definitely going to check it out next time but this walk was amazing and we really needed it after what we've eaten over the last day so that was definitely a really great walk but um, if you're ever in Taupo make sure you check out Waik Wairake Terraces even if you just want to do the walk or if you want to do the walk and the thermal poles like I did show a small snippet of the pool on the video it is so breathtaking but definitely check out Wairake Terraces so those are some of the places that you can visit in Wairake. There is also the Wairake Thermal Valley, which we'll do in a separate video another time. But if you're ever in the Wairake area and you're looking for things to see, then this video definitely will share and show you those things. If you've been to any of these places, let us know in the comments below. Let us know how your experience was at these places as well otherwise that is the end of this video if you like this sort of content please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to our channel click on the subscribe button now we would much appreciate it but until our next video we'll see you guys then take care and stay blessed bye everybody peace